Hi, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning from Tennessee. Listen, this is not gonna be some long energized live. This is a quick, literal make my energize with me so I can get out the door and go get my workout in. I am coming to you live from Franklin, Tennessee this morning. And you know why I wanted to, to hop on live is I wanted to share with you the, the reminder because also listen, listen to me right now. There's a family in the room next to me because this I'm in a connecting room. Clearly I've not opened up my connecting door. There's a family in the connecting room. Listen, I have children. I have three daughters. I traveled with my three daughters. There's a family next door to me. Please stop asking if you can be live in my video. Knock it off. There's a family right next door to me and their child did not want to go to sleep last night. I don't know if she wants to be up this morning, but whatever's going on with her, I can hear it very clearly. Like she could be in my room. There's a part of me wants to go over there and go, listen, do you need some help? Do you need, what do you need here? Do you need some energize? Do you need some last thing? Do you need some shakeology? Like, what do you need? How can I help? Because I can hear you and I need you to stop. So, so that's what's happening in this hotel room right now. And listen, I have traveled with children. I know, I know what it's like. Can you hear her? Like, mm-mm, mm-mm, parents, parent your child, parent your child. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. All right, I'm gonna make my energize and listen. I can hardly concentrate because she's like so loud next door. I am getting my shoes on and I'm heading to the to the hotel gym, which I don't know what it looks like, but this hotel is darling. So um, I'm hope, hopeful that it's got some weights, etc. I'm actually on the floor where the fitness room is, where the fitness studio is. So that makes me very happy. Um, Here's the thing that I want to share with you today. Got my whole little situation over here. My whole situation. Also, let me share these with you real quick. I just ordered these. I have not tried them. I've not tried them. Um, but if we've been friends for any amount of time, you know I have I have lots of digestive issues. Lots of digestive issues. And I just found these. These are this company is called Peak, I think. And this is Ginger Digestion Elixir. And can you see that? And um, you put it in hot water, drink it like tea. Listen, Marissa, don't be doing this whole, I feel for the mama, like, JV, you're so mean. I have traveled with children, okay? I have been there and done this. I am the person in the grocery store when the child's having a meltdown. I'm like, girl, I've been there. I feel you. I feel you you got you to gotta leave that cart. You've got to go home because there's no going back from it. There's no going back from it. Um, but listen, you also have to remember that if you take your children out of your home, you take them out in public and there are other people in public. And you have to be aware of that. So don't be giving me this. Oh, I feel so sorry for I feel bad for them too, but also you're the parent. Parent your child. That's all I have to say about that. I was very strict with my children. I was very, very strict with my children. They will be the first to tell you. <laughs> I was a very strict parent. So not that I was perfect. Lord knows. Lord knows. Anyway, I did not open this up to to be doing a parenting dissertation. I'm just telling you that I need that child to sleep. <laughs> tomorrow night <laughs> or tonight I need that child to sleep tonight and I need her to, uh, enough enough um listen right so okay so we changed times on Sunday and we fell back eastern time fell back well then I traveled on Monday and now I'm on central time so I'm on central time right now so it's it's 5 59 right now which is why I'm making this and I gotta head out to get to the gym it's 5 59 um, but I don't, I have no idea what time. I'm not changing my room, Nancy. I, my shape bar is set up. Okay. Here's what I want to tell you this morning. <laughs> Here's what I want to tell you this morning. Also, they brought me ice last night. I messaged them. I'm like, hi, how do I get ice? Just preparing myself for the morning. And then they brought me some last night. I'm like, well, 
Let's hope that it stays frozen until this morning. So we're gonna see. What I wanna tell you this morning is this. Just because you leave home does not mean that your habits stay home. Let me say that again. Just because you leave your house, you leave your home, that does not mean your habits stay home. Your habits are your habits. No matter where you go, no matter where you travel, you can have some semblance of your habits wherever you are. We're gonna to try to dig out the ice out of there. So that's why I have a shape. One of the, I have two, two actions that happen whenever I travel. Two kind of non-negotiable actions that happen whenever I travel. One is we stop at Whole Foods on the way into wherever we are. So, I mean, back in the day when we were traveling to Disney, we made a stop at Whole Foods from the airport and then we came to whatever. Today I had, or uh, yesterday, the car picked me up we stopped at Whole Foods. We came here to the hotel. Oh, that's good. Okay, so what am I getting at hotel? Or at hotel? Y'all, words seem very hard today. What am I getting at Whole Foods? I get, I get water. Because you can't travel can't travel with water, right? So I get water. I also brought, I may or may not have gotten a new Stanley cup just to come on this trip, okay? All right, so I get, so I get water. I go to the Whole Foods salad bar. I get, you know, some sort of salad situation. I got, usually, then I usually get some sort of snack to have in between. So then I got these, these are Mary's. And see, they're gluten-free, they're organic, and they're plant-based protein. So these are my favorite. I get these. And the thing is, I'll just stick these in my suitcase and take them home with me in case. And I got some plant-based cheese. So I got some BioLife. I got some plant-based cheese. And then uh, these are my absolute favorite. You can only get these at Whole Foods. This is my favorite, favorite th thing. Now, normally I get the chocolate with the sunflower butter, but they were out. So I got this one, delicious. This Urban Remedy, if you have this at your Whole Foods, Amazing, so good. So I stop at Whole Foods, I got some soup too. I stop at Whole Foods, I get some water, I get a couple little snacks to have in my room so that I always have something to eat that I can eat. So I'm not relying on having to go buy something or be out and about or whatever. So I always have something to eat that I know that I can eat. I also, I could have packed these, but I just didn't. I also grabbed um, a couple little sunflower that, you know, and I can stick these on crackers or I could eat them whole if I wanted to, if I just need a little fat, whatever. So then I have my shake. I have all that stuff, you know, that I already bring. I got some water. Um, I picked up, I got one bottle of Mountain Valley and then I, this was new. I had not seen Whole Foods have this before, but I love this because, you know, it's so recyclable. So I picked up some of these that'll last me till I leave tomorrow. And then, um, Yesterday, I don't know if you saw this on my stories, but yesterday when I got here, I did a little, I did a little shopping. Okay, I did a little shopping. This town is super cute, super cute. Lots of little local stores, along with some of your bigger chains like you know, Ever Eve and stuff. Um, okay, come on. Okay, this is why you always travel with scissors. Um, but I walked into this store yesterday and I about peed my pants because staring in front of me was an entire wall of swig. An entire wall of swig. I mean, what? So I did it. So the only reason I didn't get the tumbler is because I'd already ordered the tumbler and it's in route to my house. So the tumbler's coming via mail. But what? And I did get another one, but you're just gonna have to wait till I get back to Florida for you to see that. So I, this will be what I make my shake in today. So again, my habits go with me. So I've got my, my shake is in here along with my collagen and my greens. I have a little, I have packets of power greens. So I'll mix all that up later. I will get new ice. So I have actual ice 
and I won't have my shake. So my thought that I'm offering you today is uh, just because you've left home, it doesn't mean your habits leave home, right? I brought a little cute cup for my first thing, just like I would have at home. I stopped at Whole Foods. I got water. I got some plant-based snacks. So I had some stuff in my room, always be in control of what you're eating. I've got my Energize that I'm drinking right now. I'm heading out the door to go get my workout in. Day two of Healthy Obsession. I'm gonna go down the hall to the fitness center. Day two of Healthy Obsession, uh, which is amazing. If you're not on body, just go get it and stop playing around. I have a frother. Erica, I brought my frother. Chris, look, it's the one you made for me. Um, I brought my frother. I didn't, I used to travel with the blender and it's just, I'm like, eh, I can do everything with my frother. Literally, I, I feel like I can make a cake with my frother. So <laughs> I just travel with my frother. I stick it in my travel bag. It is on the airplane with me. I've made my shake on the airplane. I don't travel anywhere without my frother. Zero, nowhere. So my frother goes everywhere with me. Um, literally, I feel like I could whip up a gourmet meal with my frother. So this was on my travel bag. I have this, this is what I will make my shake with. And then I'll also get some ice and that'll help shake it up, but it's all good. Like I'm just far more concerned about getting the nutrition in my body and staying on track than I am about carrying a travel blender. I have done that in the past. I've just found that this, this is like, um, what is that, that little knife like that my dad used to carry? Um, what, what's that little, like, little pocket knife that you ever, that like probably your grandpa carried? My dad was, my parents are older where they had me. So my dad had one, but I can't remember. Swiss army knife. Like, I feel like this is a Swiss army knife. Like I can literally, I could bake you a gourmet meal with this frother. Okay. So I'm going to go work out now and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to get ready. I'm going to go down. We're going to have an awesome day of mastermind and um, leveling up my leadership and learning and growing. And I want you to know again that I'm practicing what I preach. I tell you all the time, you have to get in the room where the conversations are next level. You wanna change your life, change your conversation, change the room you're in, that's why I'm here. It doesn't have to be convenient. It wasn't convenient after an awesome weekend and my husband just ran that half marathon on Sunday and, and time change and all that to get in an airplane and come here on Monday. It doesn't matter if it's convenient. It matters that you do the inconvenient thing and get yourself in the rooms where the conversation is different so that you can change your life period. So I'm here. I'm going to soak it in. I know there's going to be something that is said that a conversation that I have, something that's presented, something that is shared that's going to flip the switch for me. And I would not hear that if I was not in the room. So you got to get in the room. You got to do the inconvenient thing. And I think we've gotten out. This is a whole topic for another Energized Live, maybe on Thursday. No, Thursday, I'll be in my team page. So maybe on Friday that we've gotten out of the habit of doing the inconvenient thing. The pandemic created this habit and this mindset of we're out of the habit of doing the inconvenient thing. And I am not here for it. It is time to do the inconvenient thing because that is where your growth will happen. So I'm here. I'm going to learn. I'm going to soak it in. I'm going to do all the things and, I, and I'm going to stay on track with my habits. So if you want to go get yourself a swig life, cup. If you go to the links in my bio, I have a discount code for you. I love this company. They're female owned, female ran, um, small business, and uh, I'm just really excited to work with them. So i um, collaborating with Swig and offering, I'm able to offer you a 15% discount, which is super exciting. And that link is in the links in my bio. So if you go over there, you should see it. And it's just capitals, Julie 15. So go get your, go support a female owned business, go support a small business, go use that discount code, order swig life tumblers for your friends. And then we'll do a whole big, I'm going to absolutely need you to tag me in all your pictures so that we can make this really cool collage. Cool. Also today is Tuesday, November 8th. And if it is a voting day where you are, please go vote. You don't get to complain about the country you live in if you're not willing to get out and go vote to make a change. Let me say that again. And it applies to everything. You don't get to complain about the country you live in unless you go out and vote to make a change. That is 
across the board, everything. You don't get to complain about how you feel unless you're willing to do something about it. You don't get to complain about the results you're not getting if you're not doing the work to get the results, period. So if you don't like something that's happening in this country, the beautiful thing is you get to go vote today. Hi, Kendra Hall, how are you this morning? I miss you and I miss New York City. I need to get to New York City. My next trip needs to be to New York City. I miss it, I need to get back to Broadway. So my children have all gone, they've scattered to the wind. They've scattered to the wind. I don't have anyone in New York City anymore, but I've gotta to get to New York City. And you've gotta go vote today, and then you've gotta to go to Swig Life and use that discount code, get yourself some tumblers. We'll do a collage, I'm gonna go work out. Take your habits wherever you go, Make sure no matter what happens, no matter where you go, no matter where you travel, your habits go with you. It's also 610 here and the sun is rising, it, which is so crazy to me. Um, this time change, I'm telling you, this town's just the cutest. I'm living in a Hallmark town for the next two days. I'm living in a Hallmark town for the next two days. Okay, time to get my shoes on. I gotta get my workout on. And so do you, if you haven't yet, have an awesome day. Go vote.